Hey Bronco Nation, I'm Lauren Healy with the Fun Haver Off-Road Team and we're at the Moab 4x4 Expo. This is a really cool event that, that Ford was able to bring out three of the new Broncos and uh, the Fun Haver Off-Road Team, we've got our tour all set up and we brought out Brocky, which is an Ultra 4 uh, Ford Bronco inspired race truck. So this truck's got a whole bunch of cool details that you know are, are Bronco inspired. It's it's a you know an early Bronco fiberglass body that you know was inspired by the early Broncos, and has been raced in Ultra Four and has kind of evolved through some different stuff over you know the last about I don't know oh five years that it's been racing now. So Brocky started as a 4500 truck that uh, is a limited class Ultra Four race truck. So it, it had some stuff that it could only run a certain amount of wheel travel, uh, shock position, it had to run a DOT 37 inch tire. And that's where it started. You know, uh, Von Gittin Jr., he's the driver of this truck. We have two Ultra 4 trucks. Um, my, I drive in the 4400 class. Von has evolved Rocky into the 4400 class, but this one started in the 4500 class. And when it came in, uh, there was there was rules that allowed you to run an independent front suspension in that class, but nobody else had done it. So this truck was very cutting edge and started in the 4500 class, and it, you know it came out did really well, won a championship, and you know the rules evolved a little bit where Vaughn had to evolve Brocky into the 4400 class. So now he's been racing in that the last two years. He's done amazing. Uh, we came in top three in the championship last year. It just came straight off the podium at uh, Oklahoma for the Nationals. Uh, he, he was third there. So, you know, as this truck's evolved, so has Vaughn's, uh, you know, driving skills and and uh, and the talent of this truck. He's he's done amazing on it and really moved through through Ultra Four very well. So, um, kind of want to go over some of the details on on this truck and and what we do with Ultra Four. It uh, King of the Hammers is is definitely our key race. That's the one that's really started Ultra Four. Uh, we've been doing it for. For about 15 years now, uh, 2009 was the first year I raced in it, and uh, you know the the trucks have really evolved from from a kind of slower rock crawler that got through the desert to these really high speed trucks that you know can do 130 miles an hour through the desert, but then slow down, shift into low range, and rock crawl through you know the hammer trails that are some of the nastiest rock trails in the country. So some of the specs and details of Brocky, this Ultra Four truck, um, it's it's. You know, the heart of this truck is, is a Ford Performance 427 all aluminum Windsor based motor, which uh, factory comes out from Ford Performance making about 630 horsepower. Um, and so uh, Mike Cash massaged this motor a little bit, and we've got it bumped up to about 720 horsepower running on, on race gas. Um, for a transmission, we run a, a Turbo 400. Uh, we run a little different ratios and, and play with that stuff. You know, all billet internals. It's it's a, a very strong and robust transmission. And for a transfer case, uh, depending on what the race is, we, we typically run an Atlas II that has a high range and a low range, so that whenever we have to go through the rocks, we can shift gears and uh, and and go into low range to rock crawl. Um, the the suspension on these trucks, uh, we run an independent front suspension. There's so many advantages to that of having a a mechanical steering linkage to it. The control of the truck is just it's it's a whole nother ball game on on uh, on how you can tr control the steering and, and with a rack and pinion versus running a full hydraulic ram. You get a bunch more suspension travel out of the front. This truck's pulling almost 20 inches of front suspension travel, and uh, still pulls up to about 35 to 38 degrees of steering. We run a, a crazy Series 30 CV that uh, that RCV builds. That's uh, all 300M, and you know it can handle well over a thousand horsepower. And uh, you just—they're almost unbreakable. They're just really, really robust. And in the 4400 class, we we had Nitto tire build us um, the K-Spec tires. We've been running these since about 2012 when they brought them out, and uh, it's a sticky race tire and just really robust solid sidewall that you know that can take rock hits and and really take all the abuse that we put at king of the hammers and for wheels we run a, a center line forged wheel that that can take the abuse when when we're going through the rocks you know at 40 50 60 miles an hour you've got to be able to take these crazy hits on the wheels and tires so um, really a lot of development went into our wheel and tire package to get us exactly what we need 
So for rear suspension on Brocky, we, uh, we use what's a, a, called a trailing arm system, um, giving you a motion ratio and leverage to mount the, the coilovers and the bypasses on the trailing arm. So we've, we're running a, a 14 and a 16 inch shock, but we're pulling 25 to 26 inches of travel out of there with the trailing arm system. Um, for axles, front and rear differentials, we run a, a Ford based nine inch. Um, it's a little bit, ring and pin, little bit bigger ring and pinion that's actually a nine and a half inch. And then for axle shafts, we run uh, either a 40 or a 45 spline gun drilled axle shaft. So the, the abuse that we're putting through here with seven to 800 horsepower has to be really, really robust uh, and be able to handle just a crazy amount of abuse. Fuel cell and radiator package is all packed behind the, the rear seats. Um, and for fuel cell, we're, we're looking for about 45 to 50 gallons on these trucks. That, uh, that really allow us to get up over about a 100 mile range out in the desert. So uh, we've gotta be able to be almost self-sufficient for up to 100 miles and be able to fix anything on the truck. So we have you know spare drive shafts, uh, tools, spare wheel and tire, jacks, all that stuff on these vehicles. So when we have some sort of an issue in the race, we have to be able to, to fix the truck ourselves. We, we can't have a chase crew or a pit crew come in and help us. So that's one of the things uh, that's really important with our style of racing. Most important part of Ultra 4 racing is, you know, being safe inside of the cockpit. So, you know, we have two inch uh, 120 wall chromoly tubing that are around us. I mean, we take these crazy rockets. Sometimes we end up wrecking, rolling in, in the desert. So safety is, is very important. So um, we've been working with Recaro for, for the last couple of years. Uh, Vaughn and myself have put in a ton of time in Recaro's technology to develop these new uh, race seats that, that are off-road specific and the foam technology in them, everything that came with them, you know, has, has improved safety a, a huge amount. There was just a lot of stuff that people didn't really know as we were building these trucks. And, and uh, you know, we've, there's been a lot of injuries, a lot of broken backs and stuff like that. So um, the technology that Ricardo did on these seats is, is really, really neat. Uh, the rest of the cockpit area, um, you know, pr pretty standard stuff. It's, it's nothing, Nothing crazy. Um, we're really excited to actually try to integrate some of the new Bronco technology. Uh, one of the things that I really want is one of the, the forward facing cameras. Um, when, at the time that I've got to spend in the new Bronco testing out in Johnson Valley, after about 15 minutes, I, I loved the front forward facing camera as I was breaking over, you know, some of the, some of the hills and stuff, you could see exactly where you're going without, without actually being able to see over the hood. So um, we're really looking forward to integrating some of that technology into our race trucks. Um, but otherwise, I mean, it's, it's basic switches and controls, um, dash display so that you can monitor all your vitals, oil pressure, transmission temperature, uh, coolant temperature. Uh, we even monitor like our differential temps and some of that stuff. And we data log all that and uh, try to make sure that if we have any problems that we can catch them before we actually have a, a catastrophic failure. And then the other thing is, you know, the, the passenger seat, that's for your co-driver. and. Uh, He's doing all your navigation, so it's he's got a GPS in front of him that shows him exactly where he's going on the trails, and uh, he's calling that out to your driver as well as communicating with the pits if there's anything we need to work on with the truck, and just you know, it's really important to have that co-driver who can keep you calm, keep you focused on the race, and, and keep you going. So, so some of the stuff on the back of the of Brocky here that you can kind of see is you know we've got a huge CBR radiator up there that it, it's really really important to keep your coolant temps in check. Um, that one is uh, 35 by 22 inches tall to really keep, you know, we need to stay under about 220 degrees when we're racing at full pace as hard as we can. And some of the other stuff that we've got on the back of the truck, um, you can see a jack for if we have to get out and change our tires. There's some tools underneath, hiding up underneath the spare tire, and then we have two Optima batteries. So. Uh, when we're winching, or we put a lot of draw on the system, so if, if we have two Optima batteries, we can run one at one, at one, at one time, or we can run them together um, with, a, with a selector switch inside the cab. Um, but that's you know some of the vitals that are really important that, that keep us out there racing there. All right, Bronco Nation, thank you so much for following along as we went through uh, Brocky and our Ultra 4 race trucks. If you like this, tell us, let us know. We'll get out there and we'll show you some of the other race trucks, some of our other vehicles and all the stuff we do. And uh, can't wait to get in the new Bronco and show you all about that.